Hello guys, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about the car horn. Welcome to a new video. So as Nissan is a Japanese brand, the car horn is uh, really weak. Uh, Japan has its own legislation about honking uh, the car horn. Uh, it only must be used in um, dangerous uh, or alarming situations. Uh, and that's quite a pity because the Qashqai is a um, tough looking car, car I think. And um, when you honk it, it's uh, really a shame to her. It's such a weak horn for uh, this kind of car. So this is what the horn on the G11A version sounds like. On the facelift, the new uh, G11B model, the horn is a little bit better, as you can hear here. The G11B horn. And that is because the new Qashqai is fitted with a double horn. There was quite some uh, discussion about this one. Uh, there's one on the same place as on the uh, previous Qashqai. And the second one is uh, situated much lower. Some thought it uh, to be the alarm uh, horn. But it is in fact the, um, the official second horn. And I will show you um, why. So here again you move the four plugs, you remove all the screws to gain access to the first horn. And there you go. So when I remove these plugs, I will show you that there still is an other horn. And that horn is situated a little bit further down. You can't see it from here, but if you look from down here, you can see the horn that is situated just over there. So it is too far away to be dismount, um, that's for sure. Uh, you should dismount all the nose of the car, but there is enough access, as you can see here, to slide your arm all the way down to declips the wires as well and that's what you're going to do right now so as you can see making the turn isn't always good for the hands because you should um, put your hand all the way down and manage to push the clip and then pull it out but as you can hear now both horns are disabled step is more easy is uh, simply uh, removing this horn and adding the next one doing the, the wiring and uh, we're good to go there it is I will remove the factory horn and I put back my both uh, Volo double loud in place and wire everything up so for this part uh, the only limitation is your creativity. You have to find some free space. And I found some place by drilling an extra hole in the original standard. And there it is. Next thing is that you really should well fix it in place and avoid uh, that it touches uh, something because it may uh, influence the tone. So next step is the wiring. As you can see here is the original wire and it can be plugged right on top of it. Um, but then you should connect the second horn as well. It comes with these kind of Coslock connectors. Uh, I don't really like them because they um, don't make it such a great, uh, great solution, uh, connection. Uh, then you have these one that I use a lot. I would prefer use these waterproof ones, but uh, my cable is too thick. So I will use these, but I uh, will put some extra isolation tape on top, just to avoid water to come in. So you know the procedure guys, uh, just 
place the male connectors on one end and place these on the other end and pinch with some pair of pliers. So now it's wired up, we're going to test. It worked. So, closing everything up, fixing those, hiding those cables with some tie wraps, clean up the cover, and the job is done. And there it is, closed up. As you can see, I uh, immediately placed back my gas ports as well. So, this was it for today, guys. And one more time. It is quite windy though. So, I think it is way better. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.